Hello and welcome back to another video on Serious About Salvage. I hope you're all well. I'll tell you what, I don't know what's happened to spring uh, because it's absolutely miserable here at the minute. The weather's really turned. We had a few nice days, it seemed like summer was on its way and then the heavens have opened last few days. It's done nothing but rain. Anyway, another new car today, picked up another one. It's a Citroen C3 Aircross. I don't recall ever having a Citroen on the channel. Um, but as always, if something is the right price, then I'll give it a go. It's a nice enough car, it's quite a modern car again, a 68 plate. Uh, I like the colour and it's the damage is not a lot, put it that way. I think it's the right kind of car, I like it. I'm going to spin round and we'll have a look. So there we go, yeah it's a nice, it's a really nice metallic grey. I do like the colour. Citroen C3 Aircross, didn't even really know much about these. Um, there's one literally just two doors up from me, funnily enough, but I only noticed it once I bought this. It's like every, every time I buy a car, whatever it is, I suddenly start spotting them everywhere because your subconsciousness is, is looking out from, isn't it? Um, yeah, now it's, I won't say it's a big car, but it's not a small car either. Um, feels like a little bit like a crossover. It's a bit higher than, you know, normal, like the Clio maybe. And this is the damage just on this corner here. Obviously some suspension damage going on, we're going to have to look at. Uh, bumper wing. But it's just isolated to that corner there, there's nothing else anywhere else. So this door unfortunately does have a crease there. And a decent dent there. I can't work out. I think it's plastic, it is plastic. So yeah, that ain't gonna come out. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, the door, I think we're gonna have to change maybe. Um, nothing around this corner, it's dirty. I mean, there's probably gonna be some marks and scratches. Excuse me. Um, when we clean it, it is, a four-year-old car. <laughs> In terms of discs and pads, it looks as if it very recently had ha has had a set on it. Because that pad is pretty much new. You can still read the right on the back. There's no lip on that disc, although yes, there's a little bit of surface rust, but they clean up within a few miles. Tire looks uh, okay. This side again, there's nothing. No damage on this side, a couple of marks, there's a bit of a... That'll puff out, that. Mm. Not convinced that one will, but I think we can make it look better. It is a petrol, this. Yeah, plenty on that tyre as well. And yeah, front, front and back discs look like they've very recently been changed. So that's a bonus. This side... I mean, from this side here, I, th I actually think it's quite a funky looking thing. I like, I like this light. I like that. I think, I don't know exactly how they are on these. Is that the side light? And that's the headlight? Spotlight, main beam? I'm not sure exactly how it works, but we will check. Um, yeah, so nothing else really going on other than that corner, the interior is uh well looks to be as it should be there's no airbags fired no seat belts have locked out uh we do appear to have the side side sill there uh, have a look in this one splash guard which is snapped that's the big trim off the front isn't it okay spare wheel Mm. That makes me think maybe the uh, spare, not spare, but the other tools and stuff are going to be missing, but we'll have a look. So yeah, what I'm seeing so far, I'm pretty happy with actually. It's different, isn't it? It's a different, different kind of car. Funky. Uh, so let's have a little butchers. Oh, bottom arm has completely snapped out of the hub. 
drive shaft has popped yeah we'll have a proper look at that on the ramp but it's looking like it's the whole suspension corner and drive shaft okay so uh pull out there a minute this specific salvage yard they disconnect the um negative i think it is what it generally does is saves the battery but obviously it means that we need to connect it back up uh, so let's have a look because but there is no power to it at the moment uh. so yeah this is a 1.2 petrol three cylinder it's quite a small engine isn't it but all all little cars smallish cars medium sized cars have these little three cylinders in them now uh but yeah so there we go so they took the positive off so yes there's power there how do i how do i push this down no i don't want to go down How's this work? Is it? Am I? Am I just being a bit stupid here? Oh, what? Uh, there we go. Don't know why it won't go down before. So we got power. Uh, what have I done with the... Oh, the key is in my pickup. Ta-da! We have a key. Um, so, let's... Oh, yes, there we go. So, yeah, I think they're going to be side lights, aren't they? They're going to be headlight, I would have thought. Very nice. I'm kind of hoping this has survived. This one, I think, may be dead. So, should we have a little look inside? Hazards are flashing. I'll stop now. Let's have a look. 46,000 miles. Now, this car is listed as a run, uh, no drive. It says so on the window. So, let's have a look. So we've got a nice screen. Oh, we've got a lot of fan going on. How do we able to... Let's just shut that up for a moment. This is, uh, this is all right. What, do, what does it have? Does it have navigation or anything? Don't really know how to work it anyway. The colour of the cluster is quite nice. Anyway, we've got a bit of fuel, so um, let's see what happens. Okay, try that again. Well, it's like it tries. And then doesn't. So let's let's just try some of that. Oh, power folding mirrors. Keep forgetting to hold the key. It nearly went then. And then. I've got a feeling there's no fuel in this. Because the fuel pump takes a while. And it... And it just like tries and then and then doesn't okay 
let's not stress it um it's down as a run so i'm going to take the word for it we obviously are going to have to try and get it running but first things first we want to get it off this um oh sure not should we try and get it running first i mean once it's on the ramp it's a bit hard to get in and out of so i'd like to hear it run so perhaps um First things first, let's scan it. Let's just see what, what codes come up. It does sound to me like there's no fuel in it. So it kind of tries to just for a split second after the pump, you can hear the pump priming and it primes for quite a while. And then it initially just, it fires split second and then it doesn't even attempt, it just, just turns over. So it sounds to me like no fuel. Um, but yeah, let's scan it, let's see what it says. There's oil in it. First of all. And then it might be wise if I go and grab some petrol for it. So I'll get the scanner hooked up, booted up, and we'll have a look, see what it says. Okay. Uh, so there's quite a few faults, nothing on the engine. But obviously, I would have thought someone will be down to the battery being disconnected. So, the best thing for us to do is just clear them all. And uh, we'll see what comes back. I mean, we are a bit low on volts. 11.1 showing on the dongle. Oh, it's gone to 11.9 now, 11.2. So, it might be worth putting booster on it as well. Give it that little bit of help and see if that helps it. Uh, but we'll just let it finish off wiping these cutters now. Right, so it's showing no cords now. Let's just see what happens. Yeah, that, that fuel pump keeps running. Can you can you hear that? The, the first second of its few, first few turns, it tries to fire, and then it don't want to know. Like it's just getting a bit of fuel, and then don't want to know. So. Let's just go back. Yeah, automatic scan again. I mean, it, it was quite quick to um, scan through, so we'll we'll bear with it for a moment. Uh, so he's bringing one back on the airbag and pretension as ECU. I don't know why it's saying 50, 56 in built-in systems interface. I'm not convinced this is uh, clear and down properly because they're exactly the same as were on it before exactly the same so yeah i don't think my scanner's uh clearing them properly by lots of it but it does it does sound it does sound like fuel but it, it does reckon it's got 37 miles left i'm not sure if they've they've drained it you see not, if it was running and then they drained not drained all the fuel out of it maybe you never know um but it does sound to me like like fuel anyway let's have a quick look at what this airbag cord is so supply voltage okay probably gonna be very similar on a lot of these cords have a quick look at this one that's saying 56 <laughs> no communications yeah for unlocking the mobilizer Fault in the unlocking of the immobilizer by the engine management ECU. Hmm, interesting. I didn't really... So perhaps... Perhaps it is... Immobilizer. Hmm. Perhaps it is the immobilizer. Let's just throw the booster on quickly, get it a little bit more of a, a boost. See if that allows all the systems to power up. I'll try the more simple things first. Oh. Yeah, fingers crossed they haven't um, tried anything. 
is there a negative anywhere? Anywhere, anywhere? No, not really. No, I don't really want to take that off. Um, there's usually like a, a big metal bolt sticking out for you to put on as a negative. But I can't seem to find anything. See if it'll earth out on that. I mean, it's picked it up, so. <clears throat> Give it a go. I mean, it's cranking fast, fast enough. All right, let me have a bit of an investigation. Well, it's running and I don't really know how. I, I really don't know how. I had my you know, big wireless scanner on it. That was showing all the immobiliser issues and stuff. So I opened up the fuse box is over here went through all the fuses they're all good so then i came back to the scanner and thought i'll just try my hotel quickly some because sometimes that doesn't like to delete calls where this one will so i unplugged that plugged this in found out this was flat so i unplugged it and i was just about to go and get my third scanner and i thought i'll just try it quickly just cranked it and it fires straight up. So I don't really know why it wasn't. Is it, was it thinking I was trying to um, hotwire it and steal it or something? Uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know. But I mean, it, it fires straight up when I, um, when I tried it then. I mean, it sounds okay. It sounds like a three-cylinder. They do sound funny, these engines, these three-cylinders. Um, well, I don't know, guys. I don't know uh, how, how that's just appeared to start working. It doesn't seem to have navigation, does it? Why would it have a touchscreen like this, a nice touchscreen? And not have any having any, any navigation. It doesn't really make much sense. But yeah, it appears not to have any. Um, unless I just don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I can't see a nav button. It's not just me, is it? Fan, music, car, you'd think that would be the options there. You press that and all. I mean, I'll just go turn away in case there is pictures on here. Oh well, no, there isn't. They've wiped it. That's fine. You'd think it would be in options there, wouldn't you? Okay, well, it is what it is. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I started it, how I've got it running, really. I'll be honest with you. Oh, it smells fine. I suppose the um, test is going to be, if I turn it off, if it starts up again. Isn't it? Right. Let's just try that quickly, and then let's, just, let's get it on the ramp. Get it off this trailer, get the trail out of the way, so... Uh, turn it off. Keys out. You don't have to push the clutch down on this to start it. Literally just key in. Let them sweep back. Let's yeah, start straight up. 
Uh, weird. I mean, all the lights have gone off now as well. All the lights have gone. We've got handbrake, which we can get rid of. We've got door. Get rid of that. Headlights are on auto. So they're always going to be on. And you've got seat light, seat belt light. So yeah. Oh. Car's trying to fall over. Right. Um, I'm break back on before I move it. Let's let's No, it ain't gonna move anywhere because the shaft's out. Yeah, I need Right, let's let's get it off. Let's get it off this ramp, this um trailer. The guy um put it on pretty far forward, unfortunately, so I don't know. I'm never gonna get it to go back. I'm not gonna get it to move. So we'll just have to try and lift it off, see what happens. Okay, we are off the trailer, so we can have a proper look now at exactly what's going on underneath this car. So let's get it up in the air. We'll have a gander. Okay, let's have a look. So, tyre is completely split. Wheel doesn't look all that bad on the outside, but it is severely marked on the inside, so we want a wheel. As I said before, the control arm's ripped out of the hub, so hub, I'll get a stroke with the hub to make sure there's no bending that stroke. Control arm, drive shaft's got a big dent in it, and it's also come out of the box. So hopefully the box is okay. Can't see any damage to the bottom of the engine or anything. Just a lot of grease everywhere. So near the shaft, the exhaust is making a rattle when you first start it. So that needs addressing. Uh, yeah, it's probably gonna, it will have lost gearbox oil, so we need to be careful with that really. Um, it's a non-turbo, so I don't think it's going to be setting any land speed records. Um, so yeah, basically it's a complete corner, isn't it? In terms of uh, mechanical, complete corner. You can swap the you know, caliper and carrier over stuff like that, because they don't generally come with them. Uh, chassis leg looks completely fine, nice and straight. Inner wing, again, is fine. The bracket for the wing is pushed in a bit there. So we're going to have to pull that out. I mean, obviously, we'll see better when we get the wing and the bonnet bumper off, but I mean, the actual inner wing up there, as far as I can see from here now, looks to be straight. All the turrets nice, skin's nice there. As much as I can see, I mean, it's it's slightly split there on the seam. I can clamp that back together and seam seal that back up. Uh, subframe looks to be fine. These have these extension legs in them again. Uh, again, it looks fine in terms of chassis. There's not there's no chassis damage. It's just that suspension, and obviously we've got the cosmetics. We're going to need a new bottom section of the bumper, we need a new top section of the bumper. Crash bar is untouched, it only it ends there. See the leg there as well, that's all untouched. Something is broke up there, I think it's that light. We're missing a washer bottle because that's the pump for it. Uh, I mean yeah, it doesn't look all that bad in my opinion. Hmm. Uh, let's have a little look around the rest of it, whilst we're under here. Can't see any signs of any other damage. Tyres on the back, fine. Crash bar at the back, not touched, so it's never had a 
I, it's not, it doesn't appear to have, a, have had any other crash. Um, yeah, reasonably happy. I think I know what I need there. So let's bring it back down. Have a little gander at what's in the car. So we've got a side skirt in there. I know that. Uh, might be a washer bottle. I don't know. I don't know. Let's have a look. Quick look in the engine bay first. Mostly at these lights is what I'm most interested in. I mean, this top one, even the chrome trim, everything seems to be fine. What What is broken is the little leg, like bracket, that screws on there and then screws to the body. I'll show you the other side there. That little leg is broken, but it comes off. So looks like the top light is good. The bottom light, no, it's got a big hole in it. It's got a big hole in the back. Yeah, it's... That needs replacing. That whole light needs replacing. Uh, nothing else really. No central damage. It's full of coolant. So, aircon and everything will be good. Battery's obviously got power. All good there, really. All in the wing up here is still straight. That's still fine. Yeah, good. Let's move the two, move this torch before I end up leaving it there and then I can't find it. Let's check out what's in the boot. So we have a broken washer bottle. It's cracked. The arch trim is broken. Um, We've got all the tools. I have seen the locking wheel nut key in the glove box as well. A bit of car. Oh, some floor mats. Okay. Uh, this is the side skirt. You know what? I think that might have survived. Let's have a look over here. This is obviously the back. The side skirt has survived. Perhaps get some new clips for it, but I have got some of these actually. So I bought them for that and I don't need them. So that's good. That looks like it has survived. Just needs a clean. Just look at it to the other side. Yeah, it goes in out. It goes, starts in, comes out, goes back in. Yeah, happy with that. Let's have a look what else we've got. This, um, what is this? All right, that's part of that side's arch liner. And that piece is the piece from this corner. Ugh. That is that piece there. Isn't it? And yeah, it's broken. It should be attached. And I'm guessing that other piece in there is just the rest of the splash guard. And then obviously we've got this piece, which has got some gouges on that side. I mean, it, it it's not actually broken. That could quite easily be repainted and reused if I need to. That's just splash guard. That looks to be it. Uh, yeah, okay. So we, at least we've got a side skirt that we can reuse. Uh, right, okay, so it runs. The main thing's going to be now is getting some suspension components for this car and getting it on the floor and making sure that it actually drives. Um, and see what that gearbox feels like. We've got a bit of trim missing. See this bit of trim here? That side's not there. And I don't think I've seen it around in the car either, but I'll have a look for that before I do try to buy one. Nothing that I can see. 
No. No, okay. I think that's it. I think we're done. There's nothing more we can do now. I need to get some parts. We can start then disassemb disassembling and, um, like I said, concentrate on suspension damage, get it moving, we can get it on and off the ramp. We can then, obviously, like I said, make sure the gearbox and, th and stuff is good. And uh, then, then it's the bodywork, isn't it? I will, obviously, straight away look for, I think, door wing bumper. Bonnet is completely untouched, not a mark on it. So that's uh, that's good. I'm glad that's good. We need that light. And yeah, there's going to be clips and brackets and yeah, a little bit of pulling on. Uh, well, you can see just how, how weak that is actually. That's that wing bracket that's out of shape. And I can pull it by hand. So I've no reason to think that won't pull out rather easily really but yeah nothing nothing to come nothing no con nothing of any concern wheel and tire shame that tire is like now wheel and tire right i think that's going to do it for this video so yes as always thank you very much for watching hope you've enjoyed it another new car i like i love new car days it's like a you get like a boost of energy and then look around and all the edits I've got and then it's all gone again. <laughs> um, right, I'll get some parts, we'll get another video going, see if this car runs and drives and yeah, thank you for watching as always and I will see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>